like a lot of DJs who've been playing for a while, I love vinyl. I've collected quite a bit. But the idea nowadays of going to lots of gigs doing this. Oh, you fucking bastard! Come on. Oh, it's become less and less appealing. So I've decided to take the digital route. Initially I tried DJing with Ableton Live, which I use for production. Great for production, but for DJing I find it a little bit limited. You seem kind of limited with the, the master tempo, and it doesn't feel quite as natural as, say, DJing with decks. So I've gone for the tractor route. Now with Ableton Live, I have an Akai APC controller. I wanted to know, can I use that as a controller for tractor? Well, yes, you can. Um, this is a quick tutorial to show you how you can use it, how you can set it up, and how it'll help your sets. So I hope this helps you guys. Um, on to the tutorial. Okay, right, I'm used to DJing with two decks, um, so I've set up the APC controller as basically a, a, a two deck mixer, if you like. So I've basically this side of the APC controls deck A, uh, this side controls deck B. This is the pots for deck A, the, the high, mid, low, and filter. And this is for deck B, high, mid, low, filter. Filter on, filter off, filter on, filter off. Um, and then this is effects one, um, the parameters, and turning them on, effects one. And that's the dry wet signal. Uh, now you've got here, I've got the uh, volume deck A and the gain. Click on that, the Q, and those buttons are the effects turn on for one and two. And then the same Q, one and two effects. Uh, volume for deck B, gain for deck B. Master volume is for master volume. That's headphone volume, and that's your mix. Headphone mix, uh, and Crossfade works the crossfade. Uh, now, the way I started going about this, I did some research on the internet. Uh, there's a few guys on a few forums, like Native Instruments and DJ Tech Tools, who have already done some what's called the TSI files for this. So, if you go to those forums, download one of the TSI files. I got one from a guy called Detox, and it's a good, uh, good, good way to start. So, you download the file and then go into uh, your preferences, go to controller manager, you import the file from wherever you put it, say your desktop, and it'll appear, once you've imported it, it'll appear here and it'll have assigned the various uh, buttons and pots to various uh, controllers on the GUI. Now I originally, the original TSI file I had had Four decks, but I don't use four decks, so I wasn't. I got rid of a load of those and used the pots that it freed up for for other things. Now, to assign pots to to uh, things on the GUI, it's really easy. Uh, you just go to like say you'd add in, say you go to your mixer, you'd, uh, you'd add in an EQ, so you get EQ high, and then you choose which deck it's on here, deck A or deck B. Press learn and move whatever you want to alter the EQ high, whether it being a pot or maybe a slider, if you'd prefer. Uh, and then it'll automatically assign it, unlearn it, and then it all, it all works. Now, um, one thing I have had problems with is the lights on uh, here, the LEDs. I know they have a, a, a numeric value, and you assign them, you do it with output. Um, uh, because I basically I saw that on, on some of the forums, and if I see here, this has this was what already came in, and it's got LED and output, and I think they have numbers one to six because it's it's green flashing green, red flashing red, amber flashing amber. So, so it's each each numeric values, I guess uh, whatever the color of the LED is. But when I try to do it, say here, it won't let me assign it here. So if anyone would like to do a um, a return video on how to do that and put it up 
be really, really helpful. Um, but anyway, so essentially, I'll show you that it all works. Uh, so. So hopefully you can see that all works. Obviously there's a few more buttons I'd like to set and get them working. Again with this lighting issue on the LEDs, love to hear how to do it so please do reply, let us know. But I hope that some of you got, helped some of you guys who've, who've got an APC controller and using Traktor and, and want to set it up and don't want to spend some money on another controller surface. Um, so. Have the help. Cheers.